Okay, YouTube, so today I will be talking about when to quit. So, I know that quitting isn't really um, a glorious topic. It's not something that we usually intend on doing or think about doing um, constantly. I know usually when we start something or try something, we definitely don't want to think about quitting or it's not something that um, we see ourselves doing at least. So I just want to make this video and just give a different insight on the perspective of the topic of quitting and basically how I feel about it and something that will hopefully help you, um, you know, when you just go about your lives and see what you can take from this video. So I'm going to start off by saying like quitting isn't necessarily a bad thing. Um, you know, if it's done right, it could definitely relieve a lot of stress and, um, not just stress, but, um, you know, it puts you at ease if you quit the right thing at the right time. Um, so, like I said, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, we actually do end up quitting things on a daily basis, whether we realize it or not. Um, usually it's small things. That's why we don't really think about it. It could be, let's say you're doing a homework assignment and you have a plan to finish it by a certain time when you don't have the time to do it or uh, it could be when you're on your way to a place and you can't make it at a certain time and then you decide to uh, reschedule it or something like that it could be just hundreds of different things on a daily basis that we do that we actually quit but we don't think about because it's actually small but there are also major things that we quit as well um, and like I said, if we, we, if we quit it the right way, then it's actually not going to be a bad thing. So, um, I feel like one of the most important things to realize is that we are not perfect and it's pretty much impossible for us to um, complete everything uh, or do anything the way we want to do it. So, there are going to be um, lots of times where we actually do end up quitting and it's actually not a bad thing. And that like ways into the next um, topic I want to talk about, which is one of the most important things you have to realize is um, you have to realize that you need to know to quit the things that we need to quit and to not quit the things that we need to keep doing. Um, so I'm going to repeat again. It's very important that we quit what we need to quit and don't quit what we need to keep doing. So mixing those two things up can definitely um, complicate a lot of things for you and make your life much more difficult than it needs to be. Where if you were to quit something you actually shouldn't be quitting, or if you continue to do something that you shouldn't be doing, then you should quit it sooner. And then instead of just keep going on with it, quitting too late. So knowing what to quit, is, I feel like for me, is all about looking for into the future. So basically looking... Um, into the future and looking back at where you are now and seeing if you were to quit, how would it affect your future and how would you feel about it? Because definitely um, regret is one of the toughest things that we all live with. Um, we all have regrets. Um, there's no, pretty much no way to escape it. And one of the easiest things to help you decide on whether or not you want to quit or not is think about if you will have any regrets or not. Um, if you were to quit what you're doing now if, after looking into the future and thinking about it, basically. So it's definitely something that you should consider um, if you're thinking about quitting. And the next thing I want to say is some situations um, you just don't know. You know, um, you don't know what the future holds and it's definitely um, like I said, we are figuring a lot of things out on a daily basis as we go about our lives. But um, the best you can do is um, try to be at peace knowing that what you did in the moment was right. So let's say you decide to quit something um, and it turns out that it actually wasn't the best thing to do. But in the moment, you feel like it was after you like thought about it, you looked into the future and stuff like that, etc. One of the things I would do to really keep myself at peace is to realize that I did the best thing I could in the moment. You know, it may suck that um, it actually wasn't the right decision to make, but um, if you do something, if you feel like you did what was right in the moment, 
that usually makes me feel better after I make a decision I probably shouldn't have made. And then I just kind of just snap back into the present and just try to keep it moving, you know. That's really what I do. So, yeah, that's pretty much it when it comes to quitting. I hope you enjoyed the video and you definitely take something from this to help you.